In this video, we will learn how to find the equation of a line in 3D. But before we do that, let's recap how we used to do things in 2D. So in 2D, we had two axes and to find the equation of a line, we need to know something about the line. Let's say our line that we're trying to find passes through this point A. Let's mark the coordinates of A as x1, y1. So our line passes through A. Now again, there are infinite lines passing through A. Let's fix our line. Let's say that our line has this slope. Let's also fix the slope of the line. Let's give the line a fixed direction. Okay. So given a fixed point and a fixed slope, which is a fixed direction, we can figure out the equation of the line. How can we do that? Well, we can assume an arbitrary point B on the line. So here's a point B that's on the line. Let's call it X comma Y. So if B is on the line, what can we say about the coordinates X and Y? So pause the video, think about it. Okay. So if B lies on the line, if the point lies on the line, this line segment AB has the same slope as the line, which is M. If B is not on the line, if B is somewhere here, then this line segment will have a different slope. So this is what we can use to compare. This is what we can use to figure out the equation. We can say that the slope of this line segment AB, that's equal to the slope of the line that's M. And how can we find the slope of this? Well, y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Here y2 is y and x2 is x. So y minus y1 by x minus x1, that's equal to m. This gives us the equation of the line. If we rearrange it, we get y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1. So this is what we used to do in 2D. Now let's see what we do in 3D. We have our point of reference origin and we have a fixed point A. So this is the position vector. This is a cap. Our line passes through this point A and our line is parallel to a different vector. Let's call it B vector. So we want to find a line which is passing through A and is parallel to B. How do we do it? Pause the video. Think about it. Okay. So the same scenario, we are given a fixed vector and a fixed direction. So this is the line. It's passing through A and is parallel to B. What do we do? Here we assumed an arbitrary point. Here we can assume an arbitrary vector. Let's call it R vector. So if this is a point, let's call it P. This is our R vector. Now, if this point P lies on the line, what can we say about this R vector? Think about it. Well, we can compare directions here as well. This vector AP has the same direction as this vector B. These two vectors are collinear, which means one of them is the scalar multiple of the other. So we can use that. We can say that AP vector has the same direction as B vector, which means AP is parallel to B, which means AP equals to lambda times B. So AP is some scalar multiple of B vector. Now what's AP? That's R vector minus A vector. So that's R vector minus A vector equals to lambda B vector. And this is the equation of the line in vector form. If we rearrange it a little, we get R vector equals to A vector plus lambda B vector. So whenever we know a point through which the line passes and a vector which is parallel to the line, we can get the equation simply by writing A vector plus lambda B vector. That's pretty much it. Now let's practice. Okay. Find the equation of a line passing through the point 1, 2, 3 and parallel to the vector 3i cap plus 2j cap minus 2k cap. Pause the video. Give this a try. So what's the position vector of this point? That's a vector. That's i cap plus 2j cap plus 3k cap. And what's the parallel vector b vector? That's 3i plus 2j minus 2k. So what's the equation? The equation is r vector equals to a vector plus lambda b vector. So r vector equals to a vector plus lambda b vector. We don't need to solve anything. We don't need to rearrange. This is the equation of the line that passes through this point and is parallel to this vector. If you change the point and change the vector, the equation will change. So for this problem, a different point and a different vector will get R equals to A plus Lambda B. That's A plus Lambda B. But what do we do in Cartesian form? Let's discuss that as well. If R vector equals to A vector plus Lambda B vector works for the vector form, how do we break this down? How do we write the equation of a line in the component form? Okay, let's do this together. R vector is x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap in the component form. The arbitrary point is x comma y comma z. 
Now, if we know a vector and b vector in the component form, we can write them down as well. So a vector is a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap. We know the values of a1, a2, a3. And we also know b vector. That's b1 i cap plus b2 j cap plus b3 k cap. Now, let's plug these values in this equation. r vector equals to a vector plus lambda b vector. So this gives us r vector equals to a vector plus lambda b vector. Now we'll compare the components. We'll compare i cap with i cap, j cap with j cap, and k cap with k cap. What we have is x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, we have a1 plus lambda b1 i cap, a2 plus lambda b2 j cap, and a3 plus lambda b3 k cap. Now, if these two are equal, their components will also be equal. So x is equal to a1 plus lambda b1, y equals to a2 plus lambda b2, and z equals to a3 plus lambda b3. Now, we have to relate x, y, and z. So let's eliminate lambda. Lambda here is x minus a1 divided by b1. Here we have y minus a2 divided by b2. And here we have z minus a3 divided by b3. So if lambda is the same, all these three will be the same. So x minus a1 by b1 equals to y minus a2 by b2 equals to z minus a3 by b3. That's lambda. And this gives us the equation of our line in the Cartesian form. If it's passing through the point a1 comma a2 comma a3 and is parallel to a vector b1 i cap plus b2 j cap plus b3 k cap, then we'll plug in b1, b2, b3 in the denominator, a1, a2, a3 in the numerator, and we'll get the equation of the line. Now in some textbooks, you might see this equation written like this, x minus x1 by a, y minus y1 by b, and z minus z1 by c. So x1, y1, z1 is the point, and a, b, and c are the direction ratios of the vector which is parallel to this line. Now let's practice this. We'll take the same two examples. Let's find the equation of our line in Cartesian form. Now pause the video, try this on your own. Okay, let's do this together. We need our equation in this form. So what's the point? The point is one, two, and three. So the numerators will be x minus one, y minus two, and z minus three. And what are the direction ratios of the vector that's parallel to our line? 3, 2, and minus 2. So 3, 2, and minus 2. That's it. This is the equation of our line in Cartesian form. Let's do it for this one as well. What's the point? 5, 2, and minus 4. So x minus 5, y minus 2, z plus 4. Be careful of the negative sign. And then we have 3, 2, and minus 8. So 3, 2, and minus 8. So we have to practice looking at these forms as well. The denominator will give us the direction of the line and the numerator will give us the point through which the line passes. Now let's practice a few more problems. The Cartesian equation of a line is this and we need to find the equation in its vector form. Pause the video, give this a try. Okay, so if this is the Cartesian form, we can get the point and we can get the direction ratios of the vector that's parallel to the line. So if you look at it, we have the point 5, minus 4 and 6. So we know x1, y1 and z1. So if we compare the forms, we'll get the values of a vector and b vector. In this case, a vector will be 5 i cap minus 4 j cap plus 6 k cap. So 5 minus 4 and 6. And what's going to be the b vector? That's going to be 3 i cap plus 7 j cap plus 2 k cap. So that's 3 i cap plus 7 j cap plus 2 k cap. Let's solve one last problem. Find the equation of a line passing through the point this and parallel to the given line this. So let's write this in Cartesian form as well as vector form. Pause the video, give this a try. Okay, so to write this in Cartesian form, we know that we want to find a line that's parallel to this. So let's not change the denominators. Let's keep three, five and six the same, but let's change the point through which this line passes. This given line passes through minus three, four and minus eight, but we don't want that. We want the line to pass through minus two, four and minus five. So let's change the numerators. We get x minus minus two, that's x plus two, y minus four, and z minus minus five, so that's z plus five. So we change the numerators, we keep the denominators as is because the denominators are giving us the direction. So we keep them as is, three, five, and six. And this gives us the equation of a line in one step that passes through a different point and is parallel to this given line. How do we write this in vector form? Well, the point is minus two, four and minus five. So R is minus two I cap plus four J cap minus five K cap plus Lambda B vector. 
that's three, five, and six. So three i cap plus five j cap plus six k cap. 